Today we are at Marlborough House, which is the epicenter of the Commonwealth Secretariat. We had a band performing, the Amersham Band. The premise for today was to do the two minute silence at 11 o'clock, and then we uh, performed the, or the band performed the music, the, the eight minute medley, for the first time on Armistice Day, uh, in front of an audience of selected guests. The medley is not about a dirge, it's about the music which soldiers and sailors sang in the First World War to keep themselves happy whilst they were waiting to fight the enemy. The kind of main driving force behind the medley is that it's an opportunity to celebrate World War I, to celebrate the music of World War I, but also obviously remember the dead. Uh, but on the other side of that, it's an opportunity to use this medley next year on Armistice Day as a focal point of an event that you want to hold. The moment that we started, I started conducting it in the rehearsal, it was like, well, this is great, you know? Really brilliantly put together, beautifully, just one melody flows to the next, it really is a fantastic medal, great to play. And the band have really enjoyed playing it too. It came about because I was fortunate enough to be in a Royal Household church about two years ago, and it was suggested to me, um, I suppose by the Queen, um, that she wanted to engage with the Commonwealth youth, especially during the next four years, about the First World War. We were doing a project already in Amersham in the summer, and so we were already busy scouring around the libraries of brass band music, looking for arrangements that we could play of the tunes, and then we came across uh, this arrangement, knew that it was coming out, so we, we went to order it and find out more about it. The event we had here today was to actually launch the entire project, and we brought in a band from Amersham who had already learned and performed the music and had recorded it for us, if you want to get involved in this project, you can go to our website, which is musicofthegreatwar.org, and on that site you can go and find details of the medley that was performed here today. Uh, there are uh, download opportunities for that medley. You can either download it free of charge and then print out the music yourself, or you can also go to another uh, link on the site which will lead you to a place where you can actually buy the medley. Uh, also on the site is um, a registration page where you can, as a band, whether you're a school band, whether you're a local community band from anywhere around the world, you can register to be a part of the Music of the Great War uh, project. And in doing so, you then uh, register the opportunity to uh, apply for a certificate uh, once you perform music uh, next year. This will be played all around the country, all around Europe, I'm sure. It's a, it's a really fantastic piece of music. Uh, and I'm sure in the British Isles, bands will be playing it you know, all the time. And we're just thrilled that we were the first. We're really proud of that.